if you live in a major city one of the most common frustration is traffic traffic is not just frustrating but it has negative consequences on the environment as well all those idling vehicles have an impact on air quality traffic management in denser areas is an extremely complex problem with host of conflicting goals and challenges one of the most fundamental challenges happens at an intersection we have multiple streams of traffic, including vehicles and pedestrians, need to safely and efficiently cross each other's path. Over the years, traffic engineers have developed quite a few ways to manage these challenges of who gets to go and who gets to wait. One of the common ways we control right at an intersection is traffic signals. three directions vehicle can go called movement right through or left right and through can be grouped together as single movement so a typical four-way intersection has eight vehicles and four pedestrian movement these movements can be grouped into phases of the traffic signal for example the left movement at opposite movement can be grouped into a single phase because they can both go at the same time without conflict traffic engineers use ring and barrier diagrams the left major turns the major street and pedestrians through movement barrier to clear the intersection minor street left turns minor vehicles and pedestrians through movement hello guys this is Aphonix. it's time for us to design the traffic system of who gets to go and who gets to wait using arduino and proteus 8.12 and now let's go for the design it is now time for us to select our component we come to placement we want arduino okay we get it here oh no of this one okay next we need um, traffic light traffic light oh it's here active this one okay so these are the components we'll be working with next it's time for us to design our street so now we have here is our midpoint and also we want to design a falling street falling road okay so here will be an intersection point so in designing that we head straight to this we had this 2d graphics okay 2d graphics close this is close path select it and then we are going to take this midpoint and here will be one lane because we are going to add other component let us take from here we take three step one two three okay we'll be starting from that point go straight here is the midpoint we come here three step down again okay come here okay this at this point here is the midpoint and from here we take three step one two three okay next Good. Now we've made our street like that. 
good so next we come to this point you click on any of the edges okay if you click right click on the edge you see cop edit property from there we come to this drop drop down instead of collect selecting component we come to template then say for this graphics it looks cute and nice right good now it's time for us to put our dividers um, divider that will divide the two lane come to this um, to the graphics box mode come here from this part let's take this drop it down okay you good to go and from here somewhere so far so good here's the intersection and now it's time for us to put um, lines at the middle of the street okay it's time for us to put the lines we still we still select on the rectangular and let us see if we can make something out neat here outside here neatly okay I like that then you come to this component mode you highlight this block is a copy block so this will be able for you to drop the box at the middle at the midpoint okay so we have here one two three four six okay drop one here good next we try to rotate this anti clockwise and from there we copy again to uh, copy the block then we try to find the midpoint So far so good so it now looks neat we have to clear this one it's now time for us to fix our traffic lights okay now I'm going to fix one here okay and this other one I have to rotate from here rotate it uh, let it be this way downward okay have to fix it here good then we rotate again yeah so that i can fix one down here good then we rotate again so that i can fix one down here good so now it's time for us to fix our terminals okay the same terminal make sure it connects Okay, good. Okay. Good. So now it's time for us to fix our Arduino. Take uh, come to component mode Arduino place it here good so we put um, this our terminal Let's put it defa default and make sure that it is horizontal so that it can be neatly be placed here Okay, 
now it's time for us to edit point name this one since we have lanes we have from here from here we have lane one let us take this as lane one lane two lane three and lane four okay so we edit this let us put l as lane and then one as one point then we check let's give it as one okay 1.1 1 .1. copy this good so we've labeled we have 1 1.1 1.2 1.3 2.1 2.2 2.3 3.1 3.2 3.3 4.1 4.2 4.3 good so next it is we have to then come and do some labeling part here so this is our lane one starting from red Say L one point one. Okay, copy that. So what we've done here, instead of using wires, instead of connecting the wires to that window, we just use this terminal so that the thing will become neat and clean. So now look at our circuit, how neat and cute it looks. See? So what it does is that when we give signal here for this to go, okay, here we determine who's to go and who is to wait so what we whenever we give in a signal for someone to go then you know that if signal is given here there are three directions a vehicle can take from here it either go straight go this way come this way all right so that is what happened in the intersection point so now it's time for us to go straight to our code and see how can we manage to control this place so that there will be no chaos now it's time for us to do our code let me do this okay so today I'm going to introduce you to one of the important part of Arduino programming which is list okay in doing list and list means it's like a bucket you put a lot of things in the bucket and those things are labeled so when you want to take the thing out, you just know that this label contains this, then you just take it out. So it's just like putting a bunch of items in a bucket. And anytime you want to retrieve that thing from the bucket, you can easily get it by putting some a search of identification. So today we are going to, since we are our design we have lane 1 lane 2 and lane 3 so instead of putting integer say if we say int let's say um, pin 1 pin 2 pin 3 pin 4 up to pin 12 so it's time consuming and also it will take a lot of spaces here so with that we just have to use list so that we can make best use of space how it works okay list we just say in int lane one okay let me put it in capital I say lane one okay then we put okay let's see that shows that it is a list 
equals to then we have to put this one in parentheses so what are we going to put in parentheses our from our um, pin 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 13 pin 13 12 and 11 belongs to lane one so put 13 comma okay 13 12 comma 11 then you close the parenthesis okay come on then you don't forget your semicolon okay so we want to comment and this comment could be like we if when you put this to a slash that shows that you want to comment you see here also it has two slash here so comment we know that um red we have red okay yellow yellow and then we have green G -R -E -E -N. okay so that is it so we will be copying and pasting this whole thing for the others as well Okay. now we are done with that let's come to this void setup now one of the cool thing we could do here is by using for loop okay instead of writing all this one pin mode like you just put pin mode 13 pin mode this and that it takes long time so we just have to declare and do a for loop so put our for condition four okay and you put your four and then you open bracket and in this bracket is where you type all your condition now for i equals to zero you put your semicolon okay don't forget your semicolon we say now that i is less than using less than is less than i is less than three why do they say i is less than three okay one thing we have to do that this one they are having what we we can use certain labeling to extract a particular thing out is by using what we call as indexing okay indexing and they are assigned index and in arduino programming this one the starting it doesn't start like one two three it starts with zero one two so if you want to extract 12 you just have to press you just have to put lane one then you put the index here which is zero one when you click one you will extract 12 out of the bucket just like that okay so this one it is less than three meaning this counting is less than three or i is less than three then you put your command then we have to put as i will be increasing okay so i plus plus okay what it basically does is that for integer this integer i is equals to zero and i is less than three so i will be increasing meaning i will start from zero one two just like zero one two two this one also zero one two just like that then we move out so we've declared a full loop then we'll open our bracket our parentheses we we'll go down what do we want to do then we want to write pin mode okay pin mode and then pin mode instead of putting pin 13 we just have to put lane 1 so we say lane 1 then we put our okay 
okay then we type in i because it is i that will be going eh? i then comma what do we want it to serve as is it an input on an output input means it is the one giving instruction to the arduino and output means it is receiving instruction from the arduino but in this case those traffic lights they are receiving instruction from the arduino so we'll put output all in cap okay we are done so i will just be copying and pasting the rest Okay, to save time. Now that we are done with this one, then we have to create another for loop. It's time for us to go to the void loop. Okay. Now here everything comes. How do we want our traffic light to be like? L1, L2, L3, L4. Okay. Here's our lane 1, lane 2, lane 3, lane 4. Okay. So now we want this one to pass. Okay. We want them, we want to give access to lane 1. So giving access to lane 1, we have to put on green. Okay. And when you put on green, all this one should be on. On, right? The red of this one should be on when you give this one a highlight so let's do that here we say So we've done with our programming, which uh, we have here, from here to here, is for this one to go, okay, then from there we switch to lane 3, lane 3, here, up to waiting time, this for our lane 3 to go. Then from there, we come to this part. Our lane 4 to go. Okay. This is for our lane 4 to go. And from here, we go down. From here to here, is for our lane. This is now for our lane 2 to start moving so after that we switch off lane 2 and lane 1 now that we are done with our code so we have to compile this code start compiling and look for the hex file okay it looks happy with us okay everything is okay now so let's look for the hex file here's the x file see mine here okay copy that that's straight up to the c then control c to copy then come to your arduino 
that has opened this there from program files just paste control v and press ok mm. now let's run this and see what it has for us okay so the green here it will give um, access so some vehicles will be going this way some will go, be going this way some will be going this way while this other part is blocked this one is blocked this one is blocked for some time okay so, um, it goes to yellow telling this guy that it is now your turn to move okay switching from here telling this one it is your turn to move so you get ready it is time for you to go um now you are going the others need to be off then some will go straight like this others will go this way and the others will move this way simple like that okay i think our mapping was somehow good okay great oh it's turned yellow this guy is now yellow meaning that all those are moving stop and these guys they were stopped before he said it is now your turn to go but wait ready put on your car so it is now your turn to go some will go straight others will go this way and the others will go this way while these others remain close okay now he said oh those who are going stop hang it's time for you to stop then this one get ready it's your turn to go so ignite your engines now go so some will go this way others will go this way and others will go this way guys this is what we have for you today and everything was just nice you can play with the timing okay the delay time and the go time the waiting time and the go time okay you can deal with them and see how best you can make it easier for yourself you, you can play around these things so this is what i have for you today if you haven't subscribed to Afonix yet kindly subscribe to our youtube channel all the time we are telling you to subscribe so please um subscribe and click on the like buttons also make sure that you share this video with someone whom you know that it will be of a great help to thank you